Mr. Alejandro Playtest, how are you, sir? Janet, how are you, girl? Hey, hello, Mr. Playtest. Good evening. Now you're wearing your glasses. Yeah. Yesterday, I, no, what I, happened? Yesterday, I didn't turn on my camera. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, exactly. I know yeah, it. But, Maybe you were tired, but, right? And uh, it was, um, I was in a different place. Uh, ah, and, uh, <coughs> okay. No, 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 yeah. no, not too much information. Okay, we're not supposed no, to. No, no. Yeah, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but that's cool. Hey, is it your room? Uh, sorry? Uh, is it your room? Because it's totally different. I love the color of the background. Uh, uh, it's uh, like um, the dinner room. <laughs> ah, that's amazing. Um, I like it. Yeah, I like the color of that. Oh, thank you. Teacher. Yeah, I like it. It's really nice. Uh, this is like a really, um, how can I say, it? happy color. Yeah. It's one yeah. of my favorite colors, actually. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> my and, and I love your shirt, of course, because uh, red color. Sky. Very good. <laughs> hey, do you do your homework, guys? What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know what? I love Mr. Alex face. He's like, <laughs> he almost had a head attack, you know? <laughs> no, 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 no. I just did that because welcome to Angel. Angel was not here yesterday. Angel, what happened uh, to you? Sorry. Hi. Sorry Hi. for missing yesterday in the class because. Mm -hmm. Good excuse, please. Well, yesterday was a, a lot tired in my job and okay. very, very late and. Tire. Okay, so you're forgiven. Ah, uh, thanks, thanks, thanks. And next and time, I don't do to, it. I try to to see to watch the the video. Yeah, but I can't because you couldn't. Again, I hard day today. <laughs> okay, hopefully, okay. But I don't sleep today. <laughs> hopefully, don't you sleep don't. <laughs> we we have never seen his face, right, guys? Only like the image. Yeah. Maybe maybe one day, right? Okay, they make you this moment and I don't be I don't be presentable. <laughs> ah, 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 okay, so all the time guy he there, he's not there. He's not lying on the sofa, right? Okay. <laughs> okay, that's good. Hey guys, uh, let me, I was thinking about something for us to practice our listening and our speaking. Do you want the guys to to sing a song, everybody? Uh, yeah to learn to learn a song and then maybe at the end of the of the model we can sing it together well not not together just you right because <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not a good singer <laughs> <laughs> me too me too but i try <laughs> you'll try yeah you, you you have you have two choices or well, try or try yeah okay. yeah yeah <laughs> yeah you, you can pick whatever you prefer, right? Whichever you prefer. <laughs> well, then, I like me so much the rock. rock the rock. rock. Yeah. Okay. Ah, yes, we can. We. Uh, I will try to think about um, three options. Three options. And uh, I will send it to you. And you decide which one you would like to. Okay? The Beatles? Huh? The Beatles? Like the the Beatles are really book. good. Yeah, great. Oh, maybe Beatles. Maybe Beatles will be nice. Imagine that's yeah. a, that's awesome. Yeah, but wow, wonderful song. That's a wonderful song. Yeah, I could yeah. send you like a hard one, but no. Yeah, yeah. I will send you something that you are able to to sing, but at the same time that you're able to listen a clear English. And uh, mm -hmm. the Beatles are really good because first yeah. of all they're yeah. British, right? So their yeah. English is really nice. Yeah. Okay, so I will send it to you. And uh, then you start practicing, okay? We're going to right. vote which of the three you like. And then when we um, decide which one we're going to sing, yeah, you will start practicing. Is that right? Great, great, great. Cool. All right, we have Fra Juancito Hernandez. Juancito, the best, you know? I don't know what happened, but he's not the best here right now. He's just Juancito Hernandez. Okay. So hopefully he changed it. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. guys, uh, how was your day uh, besides Angel that he said it was really busy? What about you, Rafael? Uh, good evening. Good evening, sir. Uh, okay. Well, I have a 
busy day because uh, I started my new job yesterday. Oh, really? So, yeah, congratulations. Wow. Thank you. Were you hired? Yeah. Yeah. Great. So, today That's is awesome. my second day. Oh, we're so happy for you, Rafael. <laughs> You're the new oh, guy in the, in the hood. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. So, the second date of your job. Do you like it? Yes. Yeah. I like it because it's like something new for me. Oh, cool. It's a new area. And I think I will learn more. Oh, and, and do you practice English? No. Ah. No. No, I don't practice English, but... Uh, um, I think uh, the area where I'm, I am right now mm -hmm. is new for me because it's a new experience and I like it because I want to learn something new. Very good. Of course, at the beginning, guys, when we're learning something new, it's a challenge, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a challenge, but never mm -hmm. give up. Never give up. Uh, always yeah. we're going to I... learn something new. You know what? That and, and you know what? Sometimes it's really hard because young people has like they have like uh, different abilities than ours that we're like almost in the forties and so on, right? <laughs> so it's not the same. You will see, guys. Uh, my boss is older than is younger than me. What of, of, of my other job, right? Uh, but um, he said no. So the, come on, come on. And I told him, you know what? It's not the same when you are 20s, when you are 30s, that when you're almost 40s. Yeah, you have yeah. some abilities that when you're younger, that you do not have them, or, or at least not the same percentage, right? That yeah, when, you, when you're you getting older, experience. you will see, because he's not he's not 30. He's almost 30, but not yet. So I told him, <laughs> of course, and women change because we we change is more than a man definitely we, yeah. we we have a lot of changes so i told him you know what you will remember my my advice when you're getting 30 and so and so on you'll see that you will change because and you know yeah. what that was a challenge for me rafael I, I remember that because i had like five or six years more than that without using excel i know that i know Ooh. that program that is for Microsoft, right? But I have a long time without using it. And in my job is the, one of the main tools. And I was like, oh my God. I I, I didn't uh, remember how to zoom. Can you imagine that? <laughs> and I was like, and, and I work in collections. That means I work with money. Mm. Well, I almost like, oh my God, how am I going to make the formulas? You know what? The first two weeks I cry. <laughs> yeah i did i did because like i was Such frustrated i was frustrated yeah. because i said oh, I, you know what because sometimes you like uh you think about yourself like too high right sometimes yeah and when you face something that is brand new for you and that is a challenge for you sometimes you need to be humble to accept mm -hmm. that you gotta change that the circumstances are different and you have to learn from the bottom yeah. You just start all over again, right? So I yeah. and I fight with my husband. <laughs> with no, with my husband, no, with my with my boss, <laughs> with, with my boss. Like, yeah, you know what? Yeah, yeah. And, and it was really hard for me because he was younger than me, and I was yeah. like, Ugh! right. But you know what? We get along really good. <laughs> We're yeah, really man. good friends. And to be honest with you, I really learned Excel. Can you imagine? I, I, it was a deja vu for me. I know that it was here in one place <laughs> that I need to open the box again, right? Yeah. Because if that is what happens with English, guys. That is exactly the same. Yeah. Maybe you know something like if you started like really early on your earliest, right? In your, your early days. But um, if you do not practice, if you do not use it, you ended up to forget it. Yeah. yeah. So right. that had happens to me. I need to, I already know that. I learned, you know what? I learned Excel when I was 16 years old. Oof. And I'm more than 30, and I'm going to give you that information and no more than that, okay? So can so can you imagine? That was a long time ago. And yeah. now yeah. I almost like 20 day 20 years after 
I had to use it again. That was a really oh, challenge for really me. Well. Yeah, but I made it and I'm happy. So that's going to happen as well as you, Rafael. Maybe it's yeah, a challenge. Right. But um, thank you. But never give up, okay? You have maybe you're going to cry. Yes. Maybe you will like frustrated. Yes. But that will be part of the no, process. No, is 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 I I always I always been working in a and a and a manufacturing fabric. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, yeah. great. But, that's cool. Uh, and my new job is is almost the same, but it's uh -huh. different area. Oh, but it's, it's going I to be a challenge. I've been working in production, mm -hmm. and now mm. I I am I am in in in, in like and like it's like coding coding area. Coding. So it's, yeah. Okay, coding area. Okay. Oh, so it's so different. It's, uh -huh, it's a yeah. little different. Yeah. But it's also the same logistic. Oh, that's great. Yeah. But so but even though there will be some challenges because there are some procedures that will be different, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. But you know what? I but if you stay your mind with a positive attitude, nobody can stop yeah, you. Yeah, you can make one. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. And I learned that I'm not younger anymore. <laughs> but That's the idea. You have you never had to give up. Never had to give up. You can cry. You can like mess up <laughs> sometimes, right? <laughs> but. The thing is that you never give up, you continue. So that's my advice to you guys in English. Maybe you're going to make a mistakes. Maybe you're going to be frustrated, especially when you have to do the exercise on the platform, right? Maybe you're missing one letter, you forget the period, you have done it, the exercise like thousands of times and it's still wrong and you're like, no, I give up. I give up, no way. No, never give up. Continue doing it until that's good, okay? And I'm here to help you course but you have to uh, remember me always um you have to use capital letters at the beginning of the sentence if you're um writing somebody's name please capital letter if you're using the month of the year please capital letter never yeah. forget that and period at the end of the sentences that is one one of one of the things that you must remember because sometimes the sentence could be right but if, for example, you said on February and you put February in lowercase, that is going to be wrong. It has to be capital F all the time, capital M and so on. Yeah. Ah, ash. Okay. <laughs> so do you remember what we have seen yesterday? Please, one of the time. Don't complicate. Yes, I know that you like to participate. Yeah, I, I, so I see. I see that. I'm bad. I, I had the thing. Yay! Okay, Doctor Mironi, the answer very good. Excellent. I love his smile, my heart. Yes. All right. Exactly. So we saw particles. Remember particles. And as Alex said, particles. Most of the time, we use it as a verb. But yesterday, as Doctor Miron said. Uh, we saw it as an adjective, right? Remember that? Adjective. So an adjective, exactly. And we mentioned yeah. that we use it in two ways, present particles and past particles. Remember that? Yep. Yes. Okay. So for the present particles, what is the termination that we use for the adjectives? I-N-G or E-D? I-N-G. 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 Very good. Exactly. Very good, Felipe. What about for the past ones? ED. ED. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. And also we answered the main question, right? A. And how am I going to use to know when do I use them? Can anybody answer that? How? Do you remember how we identify when do we use it? Okay, we want to, when we are describing. Describing what? Describing now? Describe, of course, for both you describe nouns. Okay. For both. But, but what is the difference? ING for object or something. Uh -huh. And ED for feeling. Exactly, for nouns feeling. Very good. Okay, so the oh. teacher Janet is already answered. <laughs> <laughs> Let's listen to teacher Janet. Okay, can you give us an example, please, Janet? 
Ash, why do I open my mouth? Okay. <laughs> um, eh, no. No. <laughs> okay, I will, I will forgive you. Eh, Tati, can I have an example, please? Ash. Yes, Lulu is not there to help you. <laughs> eh, I don't know. The party was exciting. Uh -huh, very good. That is a present particle or past particle? Present or past, guys? It's a present. It's present a present. Past. Yes. Even though you're using the, bar, the past of the verb to be, Tati, with was, was, but you're using the ing. So that is a present particle. Very good. The party was exciting. Excellent. In okay. that particular adjective, that the exciting, you are describing what? You are describing you or you're describing the, the party? The party. The party, yes. of course. Now, I, wa I want you to use the same exactly adjective, but talking about how you feel about the party. Um, I was excited about the party. Exactly, I was excited. You can say I was excited about the party or you can say I was excited about it. Because okay. we know that you already talk about the party. So about them. About uh -huh. the party. So there's no there's not necessary to add the extra the party because we know that. Okay. okay. But if for example you are talking with somebody that doesn't know what you're talking about, yes, you have to specify the information, but if not, not. You can say okay. it, you can substitute it for the pronoun. Okay. So you Thank see, you. very good. You say, I was excited. Now, are okay. you talking about the party or you're talking about your feelings about the party, Tati? About my feelings. About exactly. The party. So that is what Janet said. Mm -hmm. You are a noun because Tatiana is, an, is, a, is a name, right? It's a proper name, but it's a noun. So you're uh, excited is describing your feelings about something. Very good, excellent. I need another example. Beatrice, thank you. I know that you would like to participate. <laughs> you have a lot of energy because yeah. you finished your exercises. <laughs> so can I have an example, please? She's like, whew, she's swearing. But she's swearing because of the <laughs> exercise, right? No, because of the examples, okay? Um, she has a head again. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Do your best. Mm. I don't know, teacher. Yes, remember, Sorry. guys, that we hey. you, that we so excited, we also uh -huh. so annoyed. Remember, annoying, oh, okay. embarrassed, amazing, right? Remember that. You can use anything, any adjective. That's okay for me. The the long. Okay. I block. <laughs> block. Okay. I block. Maybe, maybe because maybe because I ask you like right now, right? She's like, no, you're not block. You're in shock, right? The class was confusing. <laughs> But, but you know what, Janet? She didn't mention what type of class is it. It was math, social studies, language. She didn't put English, so okay. Are you talking about English? She is a good student. Yes, I know. She's your BFF, right? Uh -huh. The classes, it was confusing. It was confusing, okay. I was confused with class. <laughs> ah, very good. That is a good example, but I know that you're not talking about English class. I know that. No, no, no. <laughs> you see? You see, Janet? It's not this class. It's of another. Course. It's another one, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Another class. Another class. Uh -huh. <laughs> with another teacher. <laughs> okay. Thank God. I don't believe you, but that's okay. <laughs> and one more example. Oh, Lulu. Hi, Lulu. Lulu's joined the class. Okay, yeah. uh, let me check. Alejandro. <laughs> Alejandro, very good. <laughs> can I have a sentence, please? You can use Lulu as an example of any other example. That's okay. <laughs> um, um, Lulu is exciting. No, 
Exciting. Good. You can use another mm. one. Yeah. Um, Mm, uh, let me see. Uh, the oh, you can show. use you can all use Lulu. That's okay. Okay, I'm going to use another thing. Yes, um, of course. Sorry, Lulu. The <laughs> the TV show it's very um, amazing. Okay. And I am amazed. Very by good. Yeah, excellent. Good job. Very good. Angel, you want to try? Oh. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Let me... Boring is an adjective too, right? Of course. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. The TV show was boring. <laughs> The TV show was boring, okay, now? Yeah. Now you? Uh, I'm bored about the TV show. You were, you were mm. I was bored. Okay, very good. Excellent, good. very good. And last but not least, Miguel, would you like to try it? Hey, hello, teacher. Go ahead. Okay. Um, let, me, let, me, let me think about it. Oof, smell like something's burning here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's warning. Uh, the game was boring. Mm -hmm. But I got uh, annoyed when the other thing goes. Very good. Yes. You, you, very good. A good example, Michael. Because sometimes, guys, we can use the same um, adjective. But also we can use, like Michael said, maybe something could be exciting, but you got bored, right? So it's not, it's not, it's not the same. You, you can use the same okay. adjective or you can use different. That's okay. As long as you use it correctly, it's, it's fine for me. Okay. Any other example? Any other doubts? Alex, you have a big question mark? No? Like, like did you say, did you say the yesterday, mm -hmm. work is tiring. Mm -hmm. I was, oh, oh, I am, I am tired um, about the work or, or the work. Scott, it was not about English class because Janet will be happy. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 so if, if you use some um, work is tiring, mm -hmm. but I am, oh, I'm, I'm tired exactly. about the work. Yes, you can say it. The work, the work is tiring. I'm tired. Very good. Yeah. Excellent. Easy peasy queasy, right? Like a piece of cake, no? Like horchata. <laughs> or like tamarindo, right? No. Kike. Kike joins today class. Thank you so much, Kike. Very good. We teacher. miss you. <laughs> yes, we miss you a lot. Okay, guys. So... Let's continue right now with our topic for today. Yeah, teacher, I want to ask Yes, you. Alex, go ahead. I'll listen to you. Uh, no, Alex. Mm -hmm. no, me, 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 it's me. Oh, Thank who? You. Angel. Oh, Angel. Uh, no, I mean Angel. Yeah. Okay, me apologize. Yeah. Yes, yeah. teacher, I know that you have preferences. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. Uh, when we use annoy uh, and where we use, uh, for example, angry. Because this mm, angry, annoyed, for example, sometimes it's like related to a sound. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, for example, we saw that, um, we saw an example, right, guys, uh, about the paragraph that, for example, um, Angel, Mm -hmm. All of us have gone to, to the movie theater, right? To watch a movie, yeah, yeah. of course. But yeah. mo in most of the time, but in some cases, you sit and in the back, you have people that are start talking, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so that is annoyed. Oh. Yeah, because they don't let you concentrate. Okay. So that is annoyed. And what caused yeah. you? That causes you to, to feel angry, you see? 
Ah, ok, ok, ok. I now understand. Thanks, thanks. Very good. Ok, cool. Ok, guys, so now we are going to like develop our favorite skill. Ooh. Listening part. <laughs> I know. Nice, right. Juancito, what happened nice. with Juancito the best? Why you changes, Juancito? I love it. I love the I subtitle. Sorry. Oh, come on. Sorry. Okay. Coming late. Coming late. No, that's okay, Juancito, but I'm so happy that you're here. Hi, baby boy. Yay. <laughs> we have a new, it, you know what? We have also a new um, student. The, the Mercedes Benz boy. Uh, oh, <laughs> he's the youngest one. He's the youngest one right now. Okay, cool, guys. So let me just a couple of minutes. Let me search right now for the listening part. And then we're going to listen together, okay? I will let you know what is exactly we're going to listen to. So just bear with me for a couple of minutes. I guess it's this one. Okay, I think, yes, this is the one that I need. Yes, okay. Guys, let me introduce you to this listening. The topic is, how do you like it? Basically, okay. guys, eh, we have two sections in this in listening part. The first one, we're going to listen to people to talk about uh, three different things, talking about books, movies, and TV programs. So what I, what I want you to listen, guys, in this uh, first part is that I want you to identify which ones do you think they would recommend. That's all I need. Which ones do you think they would recommend? Because they're talking about TV shows, movies, and books. Okay? That's the three things. Okay. So just pay attention. And as I said before... This week is going to be only one time. <laughs> oh, teacher, please. Mm -mm. Three times, please. No, oh, Four. that's mm -hmm. too much. You are what? Uh, intermediate three, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's enough. Need four. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, that's enough. Yes. No way. If you were be pre-intermediate, I will be nice. No way. But no way. Exactly. <laughs> you, no way. I, you already know my, my, my word, right? No way. All no right. way. The Mexican is no way. Oh, that's different <laughs> meaning. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I know what the meaning is. So, no way. <laughs> yeah, you need to be very close to somebody to, to express that to that person. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If not, that will be an offense. Yeah, <laughs> it came really bad, right? Huh? And we cannot Ooh. see his face. I don't know why. He's like, <laughs> right now. Okay, guys. So please pay attention. Okay. Okay. All right. Give me just a moment. Let me go back. Eight exercise five. Listening. How did you like it? Part A. Listen to people talk about books, movies, and TV programs. Which ones do you think they would recommend? 1. What do you think of Sue Grafton's books? I love those mysteries. When I started to read A is for Alibi, I couldn't put it down. I stayed up till 4 o'clock in the morning to finish it. Wow! Have you read any of the other books in the series? Oh, yeah. B is for burglar, C is for corpse, I'm already up to K is for killer. Using the alphabet to build a mystery series is such a clever idea. I can't wait to read all 26 books. I wonder what Z will be. 2. How did you like the movie? Well, I walked out after half an hour. You did? Yeah. It was so dull that I started falling asleep, and I've never seen such bad acting. I think I'm going to start reading movie reviews online so I don't waste my money. 3. Did you see that documentary on TV last night? The one about Australia? I did. I learned so much. I didn't know they had so many different kinds of animals there. 
and the photography. Yeah, it was something, wasn't it? Uh-huh. It was pretty amazing. It made me really want to go there and see it for myself. Four. Are you reading that book, too? It seems everyone's reading it now. When did UFOs become so popular, anyway? Actually, I just finished it. What a waste of time. Just the same silly stuff about visitors to Earth from other planets. I know. It said absolutely nothing new. You know, I'm sick of hearing stories about little green creatures. If they're real, how come no one can ever take a picture of them? Okay. So, how was the listening? Mm, right. Was it easy? Was it hard? Mm, no, I think so. So, it's hard. some words I don't understand. <laughs> I know. Thing. But I'm, I mean about the main idea. Yeah. Yeah. So, tell me, guys. We, they're talking about books, right? The first one. Yes. And also yeah. the last one. Uh, talking about movies and the middle one. Yes. And the third one was talking about TV shows. So yes. which of the three, th what do you think they recommend? Uh, document. The document. Yeah. Why? Well, which one or which ones? Because it could be ones. Number four. Uh-huh. Yeah, exactly. The, the, that was a TV show, right? Yes. Uh -huh. about, about Australia. About yeah. Australia. What about the first book that they talk about? Did they recommend it or not? Yeah. 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 Uh, I think that was a thriller. Um, uh -huh. Recommendation. It's all the alphabet. Uh, it depends on the letter you're talking about the, in the book. Exactly. And that was a really good idea, right? Yeah. That's what they said. What about uh, the movie? What did they say about it? I don't recommend because what's what's the time? Waste of time. So exactly. Is it, it, fell asleep. Uh huh. Go ahead, Tati. Was boring. Was boring. Boring. Was well, boring. Yeah. Yes. So he got bored. He said. He said he fell asleep. He felt sleep. About, like, more, about the movie. Uh huh. Exactly. So let me ask you what what he said that he will do before going to the movie theater. Read a book about the about the movie uh -huh. read like a little bit description right this reader yeah. right uh-huh if you like it he goes if he doesn't he don't he goes all right very good excellent that's good okay uh now we're going to listen to the second part but this time guys is going to be something different because i want you guys to listen again yes you see i'm going to play it two times kike <laughs> okay but this is for the second part and why i want you guys to listen again because i want you to check the adjective that best describes what the people said about each one about the book about okay. the movie about the tv program but since i am a nice teacher <laughs> this is what i'm going to do okay uh -huh. mm. Yeah, I will send you like a, like a, a three columns, and each columns will have three um, we can say three adjectives, right? Okay. All of them will be with ing, but some of them no. So you are going to identify them. So basically, what I want you to do, I will I will simplify your life. I will already give it to you the adjectives, and all that okay. I want you to do is every time that you listen. Number one, you need to select which of the three will match the describes, okay? Okay. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. So allow me just a couple of minutes. I will send it to you right now. And just let me know, guys, as soon as you're able to receive it. Check it out. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. Somebody's playing like Mario Brothers. Okay, I just sent it to you right now. Let me know if you receive it, please. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. So you already have the list. You already have the four columns. Each each column has a um, 
three additives. But before I play the audio one more time, do me a favor. Can you please let me know if you uh, understand all the adjectives that are there on the list or no? Mm, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Something is not familiar with you or for you? Yes. The oh. number in the current number one, mm -hmm. silly. Silly. Dummy. Okay. <laughs> yes. It's a, it's a synonym. And, it's a synonym. Yeah. <laughs> and in the number two, old. Oh, it's like. <laughs> okay. You see? That, yeah. That, that, like, that will help you. That, that is the like best disgusting. description that I had. Like, uh, <laughs> like disgusting, right? Or like, it sucks. Like, ugh. Like that. And the last in the column number three, dreadful. Dreadful. Oh. Take, take a look. Take a look at the color. I want you to identify it for yourself this time. Boring, terrific, and dreadful. Uh-huh. It's synonym. What do you think that yeah. might that might be, Janet? <laughs> think about it. I will give you one second. It's already passed. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> It's similar to the horrible, right? Oh, uh -huh, uh -huh. terrible. Uh -huh. Any idea? No. No? Are you sure? Uh-huh. Uh-huh, no. Dreadful. Um, like, Dreadful, like, yeah. porqueria? porqueria? Uh, no, it's similar to, to, to those that you have there. Dreadful is like terrible, like espantoso, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Like horrible. Horrible. Mm -hmm. It's similar. That's why I put it in the, in the list because it's similar. Yeah. Okay. okay. Anything else? No. No? So we're fine. We're ready to go. Cool. Ready or not ready? Yeah. Mm. Uh, <laughs> ready or not ready? Yeah. 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 Do you have a feeling or you don't have a feeling? Uh, Do you have energy? Uh, uh, mm. uh, no. Okay. No yet. So. Yeah, no yet. Are you ready? Yeah? Yeah. 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 Okay. That's the spirit that I need. Energy. Come on. All right. So bear with me. Let me share right now my screen. There you go. Let's play it one more time. Here you go, guys. Page 88, exercise okay. 5, listening. How did you like it? Part A. Listen to people talk about books, movies, and TV programs. Which ones do you think they would recommend? 1. What do you think of Sue Grafton's books? I love those mysteries. When I started to read... A is for alibi. I couldn't put it down. I stayed up till 4 o'clock in the morning to finish it. Wow. Have you read any of the other books in the series? Oh, yeah. B is for burglar. C is for corpse. I'm already up to K is for killer. Using the alphabet to build a mystery series is such a clever idea. I can't wait to read all 26 books. I wonder what Z will be. Two. Okay, let me stop there. Let me stop by one. Yeah. Okay, do you finish? Yeah. Okay, yes. move on. How did you like the movie? Well, I walked out after half an hour. You did? Yeah, it was so dull that I started falling asleep. And I've never seen such bad acting. I think I'm going to start reading movie reviews online so I don't waste my money. Three. Did you see that documentary on TV last night? The one about Australia? I did. I learned so much. I didn't know they had so many different kinds of animals there. And the photography. Yeah, it was something, wasn't it? Uh-huh. It was pretty amazing. It made me really want to go there and see it for myself. Four. Are you reading that book, too? It seems everyone's reading it now. 
When did UFOs become so popular anyway? Actually, I just finished it. What a waste of time. Just the same silly stuff about visitors to Earth from other planets. I know. It said absolutely nothing new. You know, I'm sick of hearing stories about little green creatures. If they're real, how come no one can ever take a picture of them? Okay, guys. So, tell me, what would be the adjective that you will choose for number one? Uh, Rafael. Fascinating, silly, or strange? Fascinating. Fascinating. Does everybody agree with Rafael? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? Okay, cool. You agree? Okay. Uh, Mercy, what about you? What about number two? Mercy's here? I think mm. she's not here. Well, she's here, but she, she has her, her microphone and meta. Uh, what about you, Marielos? <laughs> Boring. Yes, sorry, yes. Did you listen to the, the dialogue that we have? Well, the listening part that we have just finished? Yes, yes. boring. Okay, <laughs> so tell me, uh, I sent to the WhatsApp group three possible answers about the adjectives. Wonderful, old, or boring. What do you think that will describe the second? Boring. 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 Are you yeah. agree with her? Yeah. Yes. yeah. Very good. Thank you, Marielos. What about number three, uh, Noria? Hopefully Noria's here. I think so, yes. Yeah, she's here, right? Yes. Yay, very good. Uh, what do you think? I, I, oh. I ah, because you have a right, right? Okay, that's okay, no problem. Okay. Mm, somebody helps her. Vanessa, what about yeah. you, Vanessa? What do you think? Bane, 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 bane. What do you think? I think that it's amazing, but it's not in the list. Are you sure? I know, I know that was amazing, but guys, we have only three answers, right? Yeah. Boring, terrific, and dreadful. Which one do you yeah. think is the is the right one? Terrific. Terrific. Yes, because terrific in this case, guys, is not something bad. Yep. Uh -huh. It's something positive. For mm -hmm. How was your vacation? Terrific. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Like amazing, <laughs> wonderful, marvelous. But, but it sounds like some, some everyone. <laughs> no, in, in Spanish, yes. <laughs> but in Spanish, we said terrible. Yeah. Terrible is terribly. But terrific in English is a, is a positive adjective. Okay. It is like amazing. It's another cinema. Very good. But very good, Bunny. Thank you. Thank you. Number four. Okay, Alex, it's your turn. He's like, when she's going to answer. What about you? Number four, what do you think? The number four. Mm -hmm. Ridiculous, wow. interesting, or exciting? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Yeah. Are yeah. you sure? Yeah, yeah, because you know they always take the same, they talk about the same stuff and they exactly. Is everybody agree with yeah. Alex or do you have something different, guys? I agree too. No. Agree too? Okay. Yeah. Rafael, Beatrice, yeah, Alejandro, way. yeah. <laughs> Alejandro. No, no, All right. Okay, very good. So let's practice a pronunciation, okay? Because it's really important. All right. Okay. Repeat after me. Fascinating. 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 Silly. 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 Strange. 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 Ah, no, no, no. Strange. 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 Uh -huh. Look at my mouth and my teeth. Strange. 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 Exactly. That's what I need. Strange. I don't want to hear a knee, okay? Strange. Very good. Uh, wonderful. Boring. Boring. Terrific. Terrific. Dreadful. 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 
Ridiculous. 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 Okay. Interesting. Interesting. No. Interesting. 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 Exciting. I will exciting. kill you, Nikki. Exciting. exciting. You can say exciting or exciting. Exciting. Okay. Either exciting. or it's fine. Okay. Now it's going to be only you. Okay. For counting of three, you're going to start from the beginning. One, two, three. Go ahead, guys. I want to listen to you. Fascinating. Fascinating. Ah, no, 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 no. Start all over again. Only Alex. Come on. <laughs> Okay. Okay. okay, one, two, three. Go ahead, guys. Very good. The only one that we like to uh, practice is odd. 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 Look at my mouth. Odd. 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 No, like odd. No, odd. I, I do odd. not close it. Odd. 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 Like odd. 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 Uh, 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 exactly. Strange. <laughs> Strange. Strange. Exactly. Don't pronounce the E, please. Uh -huh. No stretch. Strange. <laughs> ah, it stretches like this. Uh. Yeah, stretches. You're stretching, right? Elastic. <laughs> exactly, like elastic. Very good. Exactly. Okay, guys. Now. I want you to pay attention because we're going, guys, to this is at uh, this time basically we're going to practice our listening part and our pronunciation, but also we're going to practice, guys, the emphatic stress right now. So we're going to listen and we're going to practice. And I want you guys to notice how stress and higher pitch are used to express the strong opinions, okay? Okay. So that's what I want. So we're going to listen three adjectives. We're going to listen terrible, amazing, and fascinating. But I want you guys to pay attention how each of them are pronounced, it. Okay? okay? Because it's different. It's different depends on your opinion. So bear with me for a moment. Let me go back. Mm -hmm. Teacher, are you hungry? No. What about no. you? <laughs> are you hungry? No. Uh, so what are you asking for? Uh, because I see you. Uh, uh, are you talking uh, hungry? Angry. No, angry. <laughs> I was angry. 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 <laughs> Oh, oh, angry. angry is like hungry is like oh. <laughs> <Starving>. <laughs> yes angry exactly angry if you're like mm. and angry is when you're starving exactly alex is that is another is another synonym but a starving is when you have a hole in your tummy yeah and if you do not eat something's <laughs> going to happen to you right <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. okay. that's different but you know what uh, talking about that kiki maybe i am <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe I, I am, so. you know. I well, so. well, I already had my uh, dinner, you know. I already did. Uh, but no, I, don't, I don't go to refrigerator. Uh, no, I did I wouldn't I wouldn't do that, Alex. <laughs> what I will ask, what I will let you know, guys, is that I think I need to drink like a cup of tea mm. uh -huh. or a cup of coffee. Of course, without bread, I promise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> without some bread, okay, without some bread. Uh, okay. But if, if I found one, that's good. Okay, no, no, <laughs> without a sweet bread. Yes, but I need something hot to relax. Yes. Chocolate. What? Chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah. Chocolate. Chocolate is good idea. That's yeah. a good, yeah, but you know what? I love, I, I wanted to uh, accompany it with pupusas. 
<laughs> and since I already have a dinner, so I gotta wait until tomorrow, right? Right, Beatrice? Because if not, I will have a lot of calories. And you know what the problem is? That if you eat really late, you cannot go back to sleep. Yeah. Because you have to do the digestion process, right? So I will, if I eat after a class, I think I'm going to be back in bed around one or two a.m. And that's not good for me. And I had yeah. to wake up at 6.30 in the morning. No way. Uh, wait, no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> you you no like way. that expression, right, Kike? Okay. <laughs> okay, so without Kike's interruption, I'm just kidding, Kike. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's listen again. All right, and I want you guys to pay attention to that pronunciation. Yes. Yes. Papaya Arturo. Papaya Arturo. All right, that's amazing. Papaya <laughs> 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 Yay. Uh, Yay. Exercise six. Pronunciation. Emphatic stress. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how stress and a higher pitch are used to express strong opinions. That was terrible. He was amazing. That's fascinating. One more time. Yeah. Okay. Just because you're okay. No, no, Alex, just because you are on my team. Okay. There are no preferences, okay? Page 88, exercise six, pronunciation. Emphatic stress. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how stress and a higher pitch are used to express strong opinions. That was terrible. He was amazing. That's fascinating. All righty. So now, guys, we're going to repeat it together. Okay. So uh, let me just a couple of minutes. Let me um, share right now with you. Hey, do you understand what higher pitch means? Yeah. Okay. What does it mean? If you say the, the special that just yes, uh, elevate the tone of your voice. Uh, 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 um, very good. In mm. Spanish, what does it mean? Ah, que va a ser que bueno, de, de la expresión que uno da en base al, a la forma como lo expresa. Eh, Por ejemplo, en esa parte que dice ella, it's terrible. Oh, what? What, what did you say? Sorry, repeat it. It's terrible. <laughs> I love you. I love your tone of voice. That's amazing. <laughs> and you did it right, you know? Cool. <laughs> yeah. So basically, yeah. <laughs> Angel is right. Pitch is what we said, uh, tono in Spanish. All right. Como si le va ton, algo así. Ah, uh, something like that. Yes, teacher Alejandra. Oh, Janet, sorry. Oh, Who's that? Alejandra. Oh, my Tatiana. oh my God. Tati. Oh my God. Atomica. Like what? <laughs> Come on, guys. All righty. Okay, I send it to you right now. Do you see it? Do you have it? Yep. Uh, yes. Okay. So when you guys that we have, even though uh, they are like ex expressing a strong opinions, not all of them we pronounce it the same way. For example, the first one you said that was terrible. You see, the emphasis is like yeah. a te terrible. terrible. Mm -hmm. And terrible. the second one, he was amazing, right? Like a whale, like a whale, mm -hmm. right? Amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the other one, that's fascinating. You see, it's like a snake. That's fascinating. Mm. You see, that's totally different. Mm. So the pitch mm -hmm. of the intonation or the stress is different. So I want everybody to repeat together. That was terrible. That, that was, was, terrible. was terrible. terrible. He was amazing. He, he was, was amazing. amazing. That's fascinating. That's, that's fascinating. fascinating. Very good, excellent. Who wanna give a try? Thank you, Janet, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> the three of them please okay that was terrible he was amazing and that's fascinating very good no 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 change your tone of voice that, <laughs> yeah that's yeah, fascinating yeah. that was terrible uh-huh he was amazing 
And that's fascinating. That's fascinating. Fascinating. Very fascinating. good. Excellent. Now let's listen to Angel. Go ahead, Angel. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Angel. <laughs> now we see that. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. uh, that was terrible. Uh, he was amazing. No, 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 uh, no, again. He okay. was amazing. <laughs> he was amazing. <laughs> there we go, bravo, excellent job, my man. <laughs> Very good. Thanks. Sir Felipe Linares, please. That was terrible. <laughs> Not amazing. <laughs> That's too fascinating. Bravo! Excellent. <laughs> That's a ton of boys that I like. Alejandro. Alejandro. Come on, girl. Boy. Uh, that was terrible. He was amazing. That's fascinating. Excellent job. Bravo. Beatrice, please. Terrible. That was terrible. He was amazing. That's fascinating. Excellent. <laughs> and I love that. That's fascinating. You see, I love her. Okay, close. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Yeah, amazing. Vanessa, now it's your turn. Go ahead, girl. That was terrible. He, he was amazing. Mm -hmm. That's yes. Excellent job. Tati, what about you? Yes. Ahorita, ahorita. All right, all right. That was terrible. He was amazing. That's fascinating. Very good. Excellent. Noria, what about you, girl? Go ahead. Okay. Um... That was terrible. Mm -hmm. He was amazing. That's fascinating. Yeah, very good job, girl. Juancito the best, Juancito Hernandez. Okay, next. Come on, next. No way. <laughs> <laughs> mm, that was terrible. Terrible. Um, uh -huh, the second one. Uh -huh. Amazing. Very good. Uh -huh. It was amazing. That's fascinating. Excellent. I want to hear it. Fascinating. Fascinating. Very good, Masito. Yes. Mr. Kike Escobar. Oh. Come on. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. You see why you're asking? Like, uh -huh. he was not paying attention. <laughs> no, I want to say some different. No, I want you to pronounce it, please. Okay. <laughs> that was terrible. He was amazing. Mm -hmm. That's fascinating. Very good. Now say yours, please. Hmm? <laughs> like what? <laughs> <laughs> you said that you want to say something different. So, so now is your turn. Go ahead. No, because I, I, I want to say you that, that for example. I want to say. See. I want to say you. I want to. I want to say. Uh, uh, let me see. No. Uh, Sorry, time passed. For bye example. Bye guys. Uh, uh, the class was terrible. The teacher uh, is amazing. Huh? <laughs> Estoy ganando puntos para pasar el curso. Ah, uh -huh, yes, I'm listening to you. Go ahead, continue. <laughs> the course is fascinating. Okay, fascinating. thank you so much. That's a big Duncan, right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just teasing you, Kike. <laughs> very good job. Good job, Kike. Excellent. Point. Uh, I didn't say it's bad, but I said good job. <laughs> Excellent job. Rafael, what about you? Thank you, Kike. 
Okay. Okay. Let's see. Light. That was terrible. Mm -hmm. He was it. he was amazing. Mm -hmm. That's fascinating. Very good. You have a radio voice, Rafael. Wow, that's great. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, of course. Uh what about you, Alex? Yeah, fine. Thanks. Yeah, I know, and I found that. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. He was amazing. Mm -hmm. That's fascinating. Very good, excellent. Michael, what about you, sir? Okay. That was terrible. He was amazing. That's fascinating. Exactly, you see, the same tone of voice of angel. <laughs> Very good, excellent. <laughs> Where are you, Mariello's and Mercy? That was terrible. He was amazing. That's fascinating. Excellent job, my girl. Very good. Marielos, let's listen to you. That was terrible. He was amazing. That's fascinating. Very good. Excellent. Good job, guys. I'm really proud of yourself today. You nice, did it nice. pretty Thank good. You. Pretty, pretty good. You <laughs> broke my heart. <laughs> Why? And I'm so happy. Okay. No, but uh, you broke my heart, but in a positive way, Janet. Not in a bad, not in a bad way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's why we we can celebrate, right? The oh, class right. was very interesting, and I feel interesting. Interesting. Very good. I'm so happy that you changed your sentences. <laughs> <laughs> finally <laughs> finally yeah no that guys that was really nice you see we have we have a really good time but at the same time where uh, that is redundant right but at the same time uh, we have like practice a lot especially yes. the pronunciation the listening yes, part and we have so much time and also jokes right kike mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he said mm -hmm. <laughs> No comments, he said. Okay. No <laughs> way. No way, right? <laughs> no way. No way. You like that expression. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will change it from tomorrow, okay? I will, I will teach you another way. I'm okay. not going to say no way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you, I, I can say it one or two times, okay? Yeah. yeah. But I will, okay. I will try to switch it in a different expression, okay? Just for you to learn. Yeah. Okay, guys, okay. it was nice to have you in today's class. I know that you were hungry. That's why Kiki was asking me. Uh, maybe you are tired, like Angel or like Alex, right? Or like Rafael or Felipe. But you are here. And that's every time that I see your face, I'm happy. I'm happy. Oh. Yes, I'm happy because it because, shows because your commitment. Is, because the class is finished. Besides that, no, <laughs> no, 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 okay, you know what, Alejandro is laughing right now. Are you nervous? I, no, I'm not. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Oh, okay. I'm happy because um, I, I see you. I see you. Uh, it shows your commitment. Uh, you're willing to learn, right? Um, you go an extra mile. And also I'm happy because you're still alive. Thank you. And I can see you every day is a bless. So I'm so, so happy to see you. Okay, thank you, teacher. Yes, and I'm telling you from the bottom of my heart. So, so hopefully you rest. No, in peace. Rest good this night, right? Okay. Eat good. Eat good. Okay. No way. Hearts. And kisses. Thank you. Good night, Good everybody. Night. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.